If you've been following along our Getting Started Guide, you should have Docker Desktop installed. Now you're ready to begin developing with containers. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. Here, I have the Getting Started To Do app open in VS Code. All I have to do to run this app is open a terminal and type one simple command, docker compose watch. This will pull or build all necessary images, start the containers, and watch for any code changes. Now, we can open Docker Desktop to view our running containers. Click the link for 8080 to navigate to localhost to see the application up and running. Now that the containers are up and running, we can start developing locally. Let's start with a change to the backend code. Here I have the getgreeting.js file, and I've added a constant including an array of greetings. And I updated the root handler to select a random greeting when the page is refreshed. We can see our changes by refreshing the page multiple times. It works. Now, let's make a change to the front end code. I'm going to make a change to the placeholder text for the text box in the form on the page. This time, you should see the change to the web page immediately without having to refresh the page. This is because the change is already hot reloaded into your browser. Now, let's make a change to the style sheet. Here, I have the index.scss file and I've just updated the background color. Again, you should see the change to the web page immediately because the change is already hot reloaded. Using Docker, you can seamlessly dive into a new project, implement modifications, and instantly observe the outcomes since all components operate within containers, which significantly streamlines development and testing processes. And best of all, you know that everyone on your team is using the same environment and the same versions of all dependencies. For your next steps, I invite you to practice developing with containers. There's a walkthrough on the page linked in the description to guide you through all the steps you need to make backend and frontend changes and view them in a running container.